Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Standard, and I'm here today to talk about Pettibridge.command, a free command line tool from Pettibridge that you can use to manage your Akadana.net applications. Let's first get started by explaining what Pettibridge.command is. So it's a command line tool that can be used in production, staging, and development environments to help perform common management tasks with Akadana.net, such as inspecting your logs, managing nodes in a cluster, and so forth. And it works on .NET Framework and .NET Core and can be installed via Chocolaty or as a .NET Core global tool if you have the .NET Core 2.1 SDK or later installed in your system. Installing the pettibridge.command client is easy and our website has complete instructions on the various ways you can install it. We're not gonna show that in this video because frankly, it's not all that exciting. But let's go ahead and get into how pettibridge.command actually works. There are two parts to the pettibridge.command tool. The first is the PBM client, which is a lightweight standalone executable that runs locally on your machine or perhaps inside a Docker container, or maybe you install it directly on a server that's somewhere inside your network. The PBM client is what actually invokes the commands, which are received over a TCP connection by the Pettibridge command host. The Pettibridge command host is a NuGet package that is installed directly into your Akadana applications, and it interprets these commands from the client and invokes them on your live running Akadana application to carry out common tasks, such as working with the logging system or doing a printout of the actor hierarchy. And it can even be extended through additional features, which are called command palettes. Command palettes are the greatest extensibility point for pettibridge.command. They define the text that the client will use to invoke that command, and they also define the actors that are going to carry out the execution of those commands on the server and the response streams that they will go and send back to the client once that command is invoked. It's possible to create your own command palettes, and we even have a quick start tutorial that shows you how to do this on the pettibridge.command website, and we have a number of built-in palettes you can use right away if you want. So speaking of which, let's take a look at a demo of pettibridge.command in action. In this simple demo application, we're gonna create a little three node cluster. Now, the first thing we need to do to instrument it with pettibridge.command is we need to install the pettibridge.command.host NuGet package, and we need to go ahead and call pettibridge.command.get for the actor system that we wanna to use to run pettibridge.command. From there, we can register any additional command palettes we wanna to expose to the client. So in this case, we're gonna expose the pettibridge.command.remote and the pettibridge.command.cluster palettes which gives us the ability to go ahead and manage the cluster. And then we call command.start, which will go ahead and open the socket that we can use to receive inbound connections from the pettibridge.command client itself. By default, the pettibridge.command host will listen on port 9110. So we're gonna go ahead and start our cluster on the left-hand terminal. And on the right-hand terminal, we will go ahead and use the PBM command line to connect to localhost at port 9110. And what we'll go ahead and see next is if we type help, we'll get the list of commands that are exposed by the server. So you can see that we have remoting commands, logging commands, and some cluster commands. Let's go ahead and try printing out the current membership of the cluster via a cluster show command. And we can see that there are three nodes in the cluster at the moment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen. And now let's go ahead and take a look at all of the Remote associations over the past 50 seconds, which we can do using the remote history command. So I can go ahead and see there's two associations here over the past 50 seconds. And now we can try it over the past five minutes. And we'll go ahead and see the same two remote associations again. So you can go ahead and execute these built-in commands, or you can even create your own commands and expose them directly via the pettibridge.command host to the client. And those can be invoked just as easily. And here's what a command palette looks like in pettibridge.command. You can build it using this command definition builder pattern here. Now, if you wanna learn more, please take a look at our website at httpscommand.pettibridge.com. And thank you for listening.